Hi, and welcome back to my channel. So today I come to you from a slightly bit of a different location. This is actually one of my offices at school, um, but how perfect because I am surrounded by a wall of books. Um, this is actually one of our book rooms where all of the classroom sets of books get kept. Um, and I feel pretty lucky to be in here. Uh, wouldn't this be amazing if this was my actual house? <laughs> no, I don't want to live at school, but I would love to have this book storage. That would be amazing. So today I come to you with another topic that a teacher at school asked me to cover, um, and that is banned books. Now, banned books week in the United States was actually back in September. Um, I'm looking at my computer here, September 18th to 24th, um, but they are covering banned books now, and so I thought I would jump in and talk about it, um, even though that week has passed, but I don't think there's a bad time to talk about books. So um, we're going to kind of jump in, take a look at some different books that have been banned and the reasons why, um, but most of these can still be found in our school libraries, which I absolutely love. Um, so books can either be challenged or banned. Um, if they were challenged, they are just being attempted to actually be removed from a library, whether it's a school library or a public library. But if they were actually banned, those materials have been removed. So the books I'm gonna talk about today at some point have been banned in the lifespan of their book existence. Um, but many of these you can still find in our library today. And if you see me looking down, I'm just kind of cheating and using my notes thanks to my coworker Taylor for uh, a little bit of her background work on this as well. So the very first book, and this is a book I actually have on my personal shelves and I know we have here at school, is The Hate You Give by Angie Thomas. Um, this one was actually challenged for depicting uh, drug use, profanity, and offensive language. Um, but I think it's, it, it's a really important book that covers some really important topics. Um, I was a little bit shocked that this one was on the ban list, but you learn something new. One of the next ones, and this one I've heard is pretty common, and that's George by Alex Gino. And I believe it has a different name now. Um, I'll put it in here with the picture. Um, but this one was banned or challenged due to a transgender character, which is so important to have that resource in our school libraries now. Um, and I know for a fact, um, those of you at KA, this book is in our library right now. Another one that was banned was This One Summer by Mariko Tamaki. Uh, this one I've actually never heard of, but this one was banned or, or excuse me, challenged for LGBTQ plus characters, drug use, profanity, and it was considered sexually explicit um, with some mature themes. So I'll have to double check if these are some that we do have in our libraries. Every once in a while, because we are in a middle school, um, these books may be found at our high schools, but that one was challenged as well. The next one here, this one really surprised me. I did not realize that this was a book that had been challenged in the past. Um, and this is the Hunger Games trilogy by Suzanne Collins, which shamefully, I have not finished that trilogy. I don't even know if I could call myself a middle school educator, but it's it's on the list. Um, and I do believe it's actually found in this book room somewhere. Um, and this one was challenged for being anti-family, anti-ethnic, and being satanic. Um, you know, it is you know, more of a fantasy world type of thing, but I, I can't believe it was challenged for that. Um, another one that I had never actually heard of was Drama by Raina Tegmeyer. Teg M. Meyer. I'm probably pronouncing that wrong, but, uh, and this one was challenged for its LBG, LBGTQ characters. Um, but this one actually looks a little bit more like middle grade YA. Um, and it says the main character loves theater um, and she's a set designer. A... Oh yeah, and she's in a middle school production um, and one of her twin brothers is gay. So being challenged for those types of characters, but these are the types of characters that are good to hear about, especially for those students in our schools that would like to connect with something like that. Um, another one that I'm not surprised, um, but I didn't realize it was challenged, was 13 Reasons Why by Jay Asher. Um, this was challenged for depicting suicide, profanity, sexual content, and drug use. And if you've read this book, I think you understand those concepts. Um, 
and probably should be read by a more mature reader, but are definitely things that we need to talk about and discuss. Um, and especially if you go on and watch the TV show from that. One that just broke my heart when I saw that this was challenged and banned in some cases was one of my favorite fantasy series. And I don't read a lot of fantasy, so this should shock you. Um, but my favorite book series, the Harry Potter series by JK Rowling has been challenged and banned in some cases for glorifying magic, which is just crazy to me, but I suppose to each their own. And I, I just can't believe that that one has been because that is by far one of the favorite book series that I have ever picked up. If anybody ever wants to talk Harry Potter, I'm your girl. Next up is a book that I know many of our eighth graders in my school district cover, and that's The Giver by Lois Lowry. And so I was pretty shocked. I know I read this one as a middle schooler. I've read it multiple times as an adult, and I'm just kind of shocked that this was on the challenge list, but it was challenged for being too dark and disturbing for children. Um, so that's definitely a discussion to have. Like, I know um, myself as a reader have gotten different things of it. Um, at every time I've picked it up at different points in my life, but it's a book that we include in our curriculum. So I'm curious, what are your thoughts on The Giver? Now there are several more books um, that have been banned or challenged. A lot of them we tend to find are above our YA or middle grade level. Um, I actually found in our library this morning this really great um, banned books uh, bookmark. Um, but a lot of these, I think, are books that you may find um, are from a different, you know, um, level of reading or time period. And something like um, The Adventures of Huckleberry Finn, not something that I think most middle schoolers will read, or Anne Frank, The Diary of a Young Girl. I know we do cover that in school. So there's some pretty shocking um, books on here that have been banned through the ages. So I highly suggest if you're at KA, you come check those out. Um, a few other ones I want to mention that I was shocked um, to find out, and these are um, more children's books, but Captain Underpants has been banned for being unsuitable for young age readers. It's funny. It's joking. Like, I don't know. I'm shocked. Or many of you maybe have heard of the picture book um, that is uh, Sylvester and the Magic Pebble. All right, I'm not sure where I left off uh, the nature of recording uh, for a teacher while I'm at school is I also might get interrupted by phone calls, which is totally fine. Um, but I think I was talking about um, the children's book, Sylvester and the Magic Pebble. And this one has been challenged or banned because they represent police officers as pigs, which I can kind of understand. I know that's kind of a, a slur for police officers sometimes, but just an interesting take on that. Um, and another one that I didn't even realize was The Giving Tree has been challenged or banned because it was called sexist. That's just crazy to me. So those are just a few of the books that I wanted to mention that have either been banned or challenged at some point, but I know we can still find in many of our school libraries and just a few of the reasons on why they have either been challenged or banned. Um, for those of you watching, do you know of any other books that you were shocked that have either been challenged or banned in the past? Uh, go ahead and list them below. Thanks for joining me today. And as always, like and subscribe, and I will see you next time.